Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from an IT Raur Kela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given question. I'm going to use two languages, English and Telugu. Telugu a little, majorly Telugu in English. Now, the given system of equations we have to solve by using matrix inversion method, okay? I'm going to go slow, so stay with me. So, the given equations are whenever you write, you first input the data, right? You say that this is my data. When you start in exam, also you can start with the same thing. Given equations are this 5x minus 6y plus 4z is 15, 7x plus 4y minus 3z is 19, and 2x plus y plus 6z is 46. Okay, fine. Now, this is given. Now, since we are in matrices chapter, let's try to convert this to matrix form. Now, how would we get it if we convert it to matrix form? See, the given equations can be written as something like this. 5 minus 6, 4, 7, 4, minus 3 and 2, 1, 6. Like x coefficient, y coefficient, z coefficient. 5 minus 6, 4 and 7, 4, minus 3 and 2, 1, 6 and 15, 19, 46 goes to the RHS. X, Y, Z is here. Now, if from this, you will get the original equations again. Now, see how. If you will do the matrix multiplication row by column 1, if you will do it. Now, 5 into x minus 6 into y plus 4 into z is 15. So, 5x minus 6, y plus 4z is 15. So, I am getting my same equation. So, this is totally okay to write in this form. Now, take the first matrix as capital A, second matrix as capital X and third matrix as D. So, I would get AX equal to D, A into X equal to D. This I took it as A, this I took it as X, this I will get D. That's why I will get D. So, we have matrix inversion method apply to the matrix inversion method. We have to matrix inversion method. Apply to the matrix inversion method. We have to decide the matrix determinant of A is 0. We have to matrix inversion method. So, first, debt A is 5 minus x4. So, debt A is 5 minus x4. I feel you already know, but still, I will just give a quick recap on how to find out debt. If I'll expand along first row, if I'll expand, so 5 into, cut off the row and column in which 5 is there, 5 into debt of 4 minus 3, 1, 6. Likewise, minus, minus of, minus 6 into, okay, let me erase this. Minus, minus 6, okay. It's for the center one, you get a minus, minus, minus 6 into, and strike off the row and column in which this is there, you get debt of 7 minus 3, 2, 6, okay. Next, likewise, so, Likewise, plus 4 into, uh, strike of the row and column in which 4 is there, debt of 7, 4, 2, 1. Okay, that's what you have. This 2 by 2 debt, I hope you know, if not, just see. 4 into 6 minus 1 into minus 3. Likewise, 7 into 6 minus 2 into minus 3. 7 into 1 minus 2 into 4. So, from top left to right bottom, and again left bottom to top right. Okay, right top, whatever. Okay. So, 4, 6 are 24 minus 1 into minus 3 is minus 3. So, 24 minus of minus 3, this is what I get here. Minus of minus 6 is plus 6 and 7, 6 are 42 minus minus 6. And plus 4 into 7 minus 8, this is what I have. Okay. Now, 5 into 24 plus 3 is 27. 24 plus 3 is 27. 42 plus 6 minus of minus 6 is plus 6. 42 plus 6 is 48. And 7 minus 8 is minus 1. If you do the multiplication, 5 into 27, uh, 5 into 27 is 135. Likewise, this also will get 288 minus 4. So, you'll simplify, you'll get 419. Okay. It's a number. Basically, it's not 0. So, mana matrix inversion method. Debt A is 0. We have a matrix inversion method. The given system of equations can be solved by matrix inversion method. Now, let us see how to solve this given system of equations can be solved by matrix inversion method. Now, in matrix inversion method, how we do it is first we find out cofactors. Okay, we find out something known as cofactors. Now, how to do that? See, for matrix A, we'll find out cofactors for its elements. Okay, first. So, I'm going to get something known as cofactor matrix. For to get cofactor matrix, I need to find out cofactors of each element, cofactors of all elements here. So, cofactor of 5. Okay, listen, cofactor of 5. What's this cofactor? Okay, listen. For cofactor, what you would get is minus 1 power i plus j minus 1 power i plus j into debt of the remaining elements after striking off the row and column in which it is there. Okay, for example, see what is this i and j i plus j i i plus j i i j denotes the position of this element. 
for example this is first row first column so this one's this one is one one okay one one first row first column this one is minus six is first row second column okay first row second column four is first row third column fine so that is one three likewise this one will be two one second row first column seven element seven i hope that makes sense now here what i'd get is minus one power one plus one because its position is one one into debt of strike of the row and column in which phi is there you will get four of minus three one six so minus one power one plus one is two minus one power two into 24 minus of minus 3 okay minus 1 to the power even number is plus 1 so whenever minus 1 to the power even number you get okay minus 1 to the power even number whenever you'll get it's 1 so you need not have to write it 24 minus of minus 3 is 24 plus 3 so 27 so cofactor of 5 is 27 likewise now let's get down to business what is position of minus 6 i already told you position in the first row second column lo undi 1 2 so cofactor of 6 will be minus 1 power 1 plus 2 strike of the row and column in which minus 6 is there so i get 7 minus 3 2 6 debt of 7 minus 3 2 6 right if you have any doubts just come in the comments box i'll try my best to help you out there if it's possible next minus 1 to the power 3 into 7 6 are 42 minus 2 into minus 3 minus 6 42 minus 1 minus 6 now listen minus 1 to the power 3 3 is an odd number minus 1 to the power odd number will give you a minus 1 okay so that's why i have minus 1 42 minus of minus 6 is plus 6 42 plus 6 is 48 minus 1 into 48 is minus 48 i hope that settles things hmm. now next cofactor of 4 adhe bhagavatam adhe repeat out adhe ostu na ila tomme dikjal manam okay 9 times 9 you have to find out like this cofactors okay for each one so 9 times kasa boring but 7 marks cost i mean this question is not that important but still we never know when the what they will ask you know eppude this tara manaku okay fine but still it's nothing there's nothing wrong to learn i mean in the baby bullet it's not there if i'm not wrong yeah in the baby bullet this question is not there okay but still practicing you know learning the method nicely it's always good chala now cofactor of 4 is co 4 is first row third column so 1 3 minus 1 power 1 plus 3 debt of strike of the row and column in which 4 is our 7 4 2 1 debt of 7 4 2 7 into 1 minus 4 and 2 into 4 7 1 0, 7 minus 2 4 is a right so minus 1 power 4 minus 1 power even number so you can ignore it 7 minus 8 is minus 1 okay likewise i'll go a little fast now i know you might be feeling bored Co now for for 7 7 is in second row first column position is 2 1 minus 1 power 2 plus 1 strike of the row and column in which 2 is there okay i'm sorry strike of the row and column in which 7 is there so you'll get minus 6 4 1 6 okay minus 6 4 1 6 that of it minus 36 minus 1 into 4 is 4 minus 36 minus 4 minus 1 to the power odd number is minus 1 and minus 1 into minus 40 is plus 40 hope it's clear now following that following i mean following this cofactor of 4 for the cofactor of 4 see guys how i'm doing like this is where some of you get confused strike of the row and column in which 4 and 4 is there so what i'd get is if you'll strike it off 5 4 2 6 debt of 5 4 2 6 minus 1 power 2 plus 2 because 4's position is second row second column okay this is where some of you might make mistakes so please be careful Jagrata hmm? Gondani. So minus 1 power 4 into you know, 5, 6 is 30, minus 2 into 4 is 8. 30 minus 8 is 22. Hope that makes it up. Now uh, I found out till 4. Now remaining 4 elements are there. I'll, I've done it on the next slide. I just wrote A once again. You don't have to write it. For reference, I've just written it. Now cofactor of minus 3. Minus 3 is in second row, third column. So, minus 3's position is 2, 3. So, minus 1 power 2 plus 3 I would get. And likewise, if you strike off the row and column in which minus 3 is there, you would get debt of 5 minus 6, 2, 1. Hmm? Just find it out 5 1 the 5 minus 2 into minus 6 is minus 12, 5 minus of minus 12, minus 1 power 5. Okay. Minus 1 power an odd number. So, I would get minus 1 and minus 1 into 7. 5 minus of minus 12 is plus 12. So, 5 plus 12 is 17 hmm? 
So minus 1 into 7 18 is minus 17. Hope that does it. Now cofactor of 2, cofactor of 2. For cofactor of 2, let me erase this. 2 is in, what's the position of 2? Third row, it's in third row, right? Third row, first column. So 3, 1, minus 1 power 3 plus 1. Strike off the row and column in which, strike off the row and column in which 2 is there. Let of minus 6, 4, 4, minus 3. Okay, minus 3, minus 1 to the power 3 plus 1. It's an even number, minus 1 power 4. And minus 6 into minus 3 is 18, minus 4 into 4 is 16. So, 18 minus 16. This is an even number, so it will become 1 minus 1 power even number. I mean, minus 1 power even number. So, that would be a 1 and 1 into 2. So, that would be a 2. Now, next cofactor of 1. This element 1. Bore what is it? Kasa bore what is it? Bore what is it? Bore what is it? Bore what is For some things. कुछ पाने के लिए कुछ खोना पड़ता है मेरे दोस्त हम्म इसीलिए पढ़ाई पाने के लिए अपना आलसीपन खोना पड़ता है हम्म चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं हम्म सो स्ट्राइक ऑफ द रो एंड कॉलम इन विच माइनस वन इज देयर माइनस वन इज इन थर्ड रो सेकंड कॉलम सो थ्री टू माइनस वन पावर थ्री प्लस टू इनटू डेट ऑफ फाइव � minus 15 minus 7 for the 28 minus 15 minus 28 minus 1 power 5 is minus 1 minus 1 to the power odd number is a minus 1 minus 15 minus 28 is minus 43 whenever the two negatives are there just add the two and put the negative symbol okay 15 plus 28 is 43 and a minus okay don't please some some people do it minus minus plus no guys minus into minus will be plus minus minus when they are adjacent you get an even bigger i mean you get this okay okay Hope that makes sense. Now, the last one, cofactor of 6. Cofactor of 6, minus 1 power 6 is in the element 6 is in this third row, third column. So, so what I'll end up is uh, minus 1 power 3 plus 3 into that of 5 minus 6, 7, 4. So, 5 for the 20 minus 7 into minus 6 is minus 42 so 20 minus 1 power an even number so it's plus 1 20 minus of minus 42 is now here you will get plus 20 plus 42 62 hooray now just write down all the cofactors as a matrix we got right see all this you know 27 minus 48 minus 1 write them row wise 27 minus 48 minus 1 40 22 and uh, minus 17 and 2 43 62 see you see 2 43 62 others are there now, we are going to find out something known as adjoint. You know, what is adjoint is? Adjoint is nothing but transpose of the cofactor matrix which we got. Transpose, you understand, right? Basically, row, make rows as columns. So, 27 minus 48 minus 1 will come like this. And the second row will become second column. Third row will become third column. 2, 40, 3, 62. Hope that makes sense. Now, adjoint is also done. Now, A inverse formula is nothing but adjoint A by delta. It means 1 by delta into adjoint A. Delta we already calculated. If you remember long back, in Satya Yoga or somewhere like that, we calculated. <laughs> just kidding. We just did it in the beginning of the video. Okay. Fine. 4, 1, 9, 1 by 4, 1, 9 into adjoint A is adjacent to this. Adjoint A is adjacent. I mean, adjacent in the sense it's just about it. Okay. You get it. And it's there, right? It's just uh, there. Now. Now, next thing is, since Ax is D, X will be A inverse into D. This you can remember. That A inverse is what this. D is in the beginning, okay. In the beginning of the creation, we introduced D. <laughs> Again, just kidding, okay. Fine, not beginning of creation. Uh, creation In the beginning of the video, we discussed that A, X, D. There, that D, 15, 1946, yeah. So, multiply these two, A inverse and D. A inverse is this, 1 by 4, 1, 9 into this matrix into D is 15, 1946. Now you will get a matrix multiplication. For divide the first matrix row wise, second one single column is there, so column wise only one. So 27 into 15 plus 40 into 19, 2 into 46. Use brackets like this, it looks good when you show multiplication because sometimes in between minus also comes. Next, second row with this column minus 48 into 15 plus 22 into 19 plus 43 into 46. 
सेकेंड एलिमेंट ओके माइनस वन इंटू फिफ्टीन प्लस माइनस सेवनटीन इंटू नाइनटीन प्लस सिक्सटी टू इंटू फोर्टी सिक्स सी गाइज द ऑर्डर ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स इज थ्री बाई थ्री ओके एंड द ऑर्डर ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स इज थ्री बाय वन सो माई फाइनल मैट्रिक्स ऑर्डर इज गोइंग टू बी थ्री बाय वन थ्री रोज वन कॉलम ओके द एडिशन एंड ऑल आई विल डू इट नो सो इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू फिफ्टीन इज सॉरी ट्वेंटी सेवन इंटू फिफ्टीन इज फोर नॉट फाइव लाइक दैट इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई ईच वन ऑफ दैट you would end up getting this now if you simply do these additions subtractions whatever that are there you would be getting this okay fine i know the numbers are a little big so please be careful while you make calculations hmm? now once you come to this stage okay once you come to this stage send 1 by 4 1 9 it will get multiplied to each element in matrix whenever a number is outside it will get multiplied to each element of the matrix fine so 1 by 4 1 9 into 1 to 5 7 is 1 by 1 to 5 7 by 4 1 9 and 1 6 4 7 6 by 4 1 9 and 2 5 1 4 by 4 9. 4 1 and 1s are 3s are 4s are here 5s are 6s are so 3 4 6. Clash done. Yo yo. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay. Fine. I was just joking a little here and there. Anyways, we have successfully done. Therefore, x equal to three, y equal to four, and z equal to six is the solution of the system of given equations. Fine. Thank you very much for hanging on till here. Okay. Thank you very much for patiently listening to me. Thank you.